Hello everyone, it's Loretta, and I'm going to do some reverse embossing. I already have my Misty set up with my stamps that I'm going to be using today. To begin with, you're going to want to use regular dye ink to stamp your image. Before you stamp it, use an anti-static bag. Right, now that the image is stamped, we're going to go ahead and color it, but we're not taking it out of the Misty. Today I'm using both Copic markers and Master's Touch alcohol markers.
Okay, now the image is finished coloring and I'm gonna heat set it. Once more, anti-static bag. This is a Versamark ink pad. As you can see, this is the only time I use this particular ink pad is because it's gonna pick up all the ink that's still on the stamp. It's not gonna matter on this project, so that's why I use it. This is Detail Black Embossing Powder. You're going to want to turn this image in different directions just to be sure that all the embossing powder has melted and it has. Here is the finished card front and this is once again called reverse embossing. This is a comparison of the one done with the reverse embossing and one done without it. The detail is much crisper and the end result is quite elegant. If you haven't and you'd like to be, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. You can ring the little bell and be notified when I upload future videos. Please share my videos on your social media. Stamp happy and be a blessing. Bye for now.